Hey guys, so I'm here with a review, as you can tell from the title of this video. It is on the Sonia Kashuk Dripping in Diamonds brush set. That look, that looks like... Ooh. Anyway, so you got a face brush, so a nice powder brush. Um, a little weird foundation-esque brush, um, a blendy brush, um, a liner, well I use this for liner, um, but a little brow brush, um, a blendy, another crease brush, crease, you could use that to blend if you really wanted to, um, another <laughs> blendy brush, which I would call it, and like a tiny little flimsy pencil brush but okay so if you watch my haul yeah haul um you know that it came in this little clasp clutch thingy looks like so it has like this gray interior and then it's like this metallic shimmery outside which is really fun um, you could totally put like makeup in this and like go out on the town with it and be like all fancy with your shiny thingy. Um, but so, the brushes themselves, um, they're alright. Um, so I'll tell you the cons that I feel first. Um, and it's especially with this brush right here, the foundation brush. See, it's so shiny, I don't know if you can tell. But... When you hold it, it feels so awkward because like there's this big bubble like right there. So when you hold it, it feels so thick and so awkward in your hand. Like I don't like holding it. Like I'd rather hold it like down here, like right at the top because it goes in right there to hold all the bristles in place. But um, I hate, absolutely hate holding this brush. I'm like, this is the weirdest thing on the face of the earth. So... Another thing I don't really like um, is um, the way they were packaged. Like, I want a brush that looks brand new and like no one's used it before. Like, when they were lying in there, all the bristles were like out and spark, like they're everywhere, like pushed and just awkward looking. So, I kind of try to like reshape them when I wash them. Um, it's kind of just a pain, like you can see they still stick out a bit there, like my MAC brush. I know you can't really compare Sonic Cashew brushes and MAC brushes today, like, because they're in a totally different league. But, like, totally not even try to be together. Oh, that that bad. But yeah, so I have this brush already by Sonic Cashew. I have the full size one. Um, I'm pretty sure that the head is supposed to, still supposed to be the same, no matter... Um, if it's like a different version or not, this is the crease brush, not the funny handle, and I just don't like, oh. and this brush feels nothing like it, I'm so, like I have mine up here, it's downstairs still, yeah, I don't have it up here, but, um, I have this brush, and it's not the same at all. It's thinner, it's flimsier, it's just like, mm, whatever. Um, I just think they should have been more focused on the brushes themselves instead of the handles on them because they're, they just feel awkward to me to hold. I don't know if it's because they're slippery and most brushes I'm used to holding are like needed a wood or something but yeah like they're fairly good with packing on color um you might have to use more product with these brushes because they're so not what is the word like dense so it kind of looks chalky and patchy a little bit mm -hmm. um my favorite brush though I'm gonna say is the little angled brush because I never had a little brush like most of them are really fluffy if they are like that like the brow brushes but this one you could definitely use for eyeliner because it's like a lot thinner 
This brush is pretty good for blending just to get like right in there because it has a bit of a point to it, as you can see. Kind of. It's kind of like a 217 but crappier. It's all synthetic um, material. You're all right. Mm. But they're fairly good brushes. Um, I, I'm pretty sure they're like $12 or something. So for that price, it isn't bad for what you get because you know you get what you pay for pretty much. So um, they're all right. Um, they're good for a starter set, um, but if you really want to get into makeup, which I plan on doing, then I would jump for some Sigma brushes for sure, um, cause, yeah, they're great. <laughs> but, um, other than that, um, they're alright, maybe three and a half stars out of five mm, on a good day. Um, but, yeah. So, um, other than that, eh, uh, that's it for videos today, I guess. I might do an outfit of the day, because I feel fancy, kind of, not really. But yeah, so, um, I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope you found this review somewhat helpful for you guys if you see these brushes and you don't know what to do about them. Um, so, other than that, um, bye. Love from Canada.